Is it still possible? Can I meet my goals for 2023 before the end of 2023? Let's chat. Hi, my name is Jeanette and I want to thank you for joining me on the channel, Jane Reads. So today I'm going to look at my 2023 goals and is it possible for me to complete these goals before the end of the year? Now that we've reached the fourth quarter, kind of the, the last effort, the last push is on. And can I, can I do it? Is it possible to do it? Let's chat. Okay, so I set 10 goals back in January of 2023 for the year. And I'm going to go through each goal and see where am I at right now. My first goal was to read 98 books. Now, according to my Goodreads stats, I have read 95 books. However, I have my books on my spreadsheet divided down between what books I've listened to via audiobook and the number of books that I have physically read, either like physically or Kindle or like I've read with my eyes. So according to that, I have listened to 14 books and I've read 81 books. And at the beginning of the year, my goal was 98 books because I didn't listen to audiobooks. So it was read 98 books. So if I just take my 81 books that I physically read and my goal is 98, that means I have 17 more to read. I read a minimum of six a month. Yes, I will meet that goal. That is not an issue. I mean, no, not an issue at all. I have no doubt that I will meet that goal. Okay, then we move on to my priority reads for the year. So I have my TBR bingo board, which has 24 books on it, and then a free space in the middle. And so as you can see, there's quite a few still blank. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots that are blank. I only have three months. And one of these books is on my October TBR. And this one is a book two in a series that I haven't read. This one is book 2.5 in a series that I haven't read book two. I've read book one. So that is, that is debatable whether or not I will finish this one. So really I said what, eight? So I have three months. One of them is already on my October TBR. So I have no doubt that I will get this one down here finished. But can I get to the other ones in three months? Three, so eight divided by three, I need to read at least two and a half for each of the months. It's possible. It's, it is possible. I don't know if it'll happen, but it's possible. Now, my third goal was to read 20, to reread 24 books on my Reread bingo board. As you can see, there's a lot more empty spaces on this one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten books that I have not read yet. Again, one of them, no, two of them are on my October TBR. So that would leave me with eight. Now I am reading, this is book three of a series. I am listening to book one of that series right now. And when I listen to a series, I listen to it back to back. So I have no doubt that I will get that one done as well. The other ones I'm not too sure about. Yeah. So again, debatable. So in regards to my bingo boards for next year, I still want to do it because I really enjoy doing this and having particular books that I have to read, even if I don't focus on them. I enjoy having them. However, I challenged myself this year and I might have over challenged myself because when I created the bingo boards, I said it can only be one book of a series and whatever. So I had spun my wheel to create this bingo board and whatever book came up, that's the one I put on. So for example, this one is book three of a series. I haven't read book one or book two yet. 
This one is book two of a series. I haven't read book one yet. This one is book two of a series. I haven't read book one yet. So there's quite a few of that on, on both of the boards. So next year it's kind of like, okay, whatever book comes up, that's the book that's going on. And I am not limiting to myself to only one book of a series. It's kind of whatever books the wheel chooses, that's the book that's going on. That is what I'm going to do next year because that might be a, this might have been overly ambitious for me considering I want to read new books as well, right? Okay, goal number four was to read every day. So the day I'm filming this, it is September 30th. Oh, that's not the right page. And as you can see, every day is colored in except for September 30th because I'm filming, not reading. Um, but yes, so far I have succeeded at reading every single day. Yay. Goal number five was to participate in Chantel's Read Your Bookshelf Challenge. Well, I have read a book every single month. So the one that's missing is October, which I have chosen what that book is going to be. So that one will get read. So success. Then goal number six was to participate in Oshina's Christian Romance Reading Challenge for the year. Again, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, again, I have participated every single month, completed, and so I only have October, November, December. And I have chosen my October book. So that one is a success so far. Goal number seven was to read one advanced reader copy every single month, but limit to only one. So read 12 advanced reader copies of the, for the year. So I have read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have read seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm, I'm missing one. Um, I think I read two in August, I think is why, probably. Um, so I've read seven and we're on month number 10. Well, we just finished month number nine. So a success in a way because I've not read more than one a month because again I wanted to focus on books that I owned and not only read new releases or upcoming releases. So that is a success because I've limited my NetGalley requests to books I am seriously interested in and have high hopes for. I do have two more books out right now for October. So seven, eight, nine, we're in 10, so I mean, I could still do 12, possibly. I don't have any books for November though, so maybe not. Anyways, so far I'm counting that goal as a win because my goal was not to read more than 12. And I have not read more than 12. Then, goal number eight was to play one round of Katie's Read Around the World-a-thon each month. And I've done that. So if you watch any of my TBR videos, I have started each video playing one round of the board game. So that is a success and I really enjoyed it. And I'm really thinking about switching my TBR wheel next year to a board game of some sort or some sort of physical game. Me and my best friend are talking and we're coming up with some ideas. So kind of look for that coming. We'll see what happens. Uh, goal number nine was to aim to complete at least 18 letters in the alphabet challenge, which would give me a 75% complete. So as of right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh, okay. So I decided after I wrote down that goal, I decided I was only going to record four and five star reads in my alphabet challenge board. I have read 19, I have 19 letters completed. So I've completed that goal. I'd like to get my missing letters, but I'm not counting any books that start with the or a uh, right now either. So I'm really kind of really making it a challenge because I do, for example, I'm missing an F 
and I have the book The Fifth Avenue Story Society on my TBR for October. So technically it could go in there, but the fact that it's The Fifth Avenue, so I'm thinking more like Free Fall or I don't even know if that's a book. Um, that's just the first title that came to mind. I don't even know if it's a book. Um, but we'll see. Once we get to like December, I'll probably fill in with it because I mean like, well, for example, Q, right? Like what books start with Q that are going to be in my wheelhouse to read? And I have on my shelf a quilt for Christmas. So I was thinking of that one. So that would be taking off the ah, right? So by the time we get to the end, I'll probably fill them in that way. We'll see how it goes. So right at this point in time, the ones I'm missing are F, N, Q, X, Y, and Z, which I mean definitely are going to be the harder ones, right? So if you have any book recommendations that I might enjoy with those letters, leave them in the comments below. Then my last goal was to stick to my spending budget and not overspend on books. So basically my spending budget was I got a reward of a cent per page as I finished a book. And if I finished one of my lines, in on my TBR boards. So like if I completed a line here, line here, for example, that was an extra $2. I'm really good. I am totally on budget and have more. So I have stuck to my budget. I could go on like a spending spree at the end of the year, maybe. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> But yes, no, that is going really well. So really overall, my goals are going really well. There are some that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna adjust that for next year. And then I'm thinking about, well, what do I want to do next year? What other goals? So yeah, so far, the only ones that are kind of like a challenge for me, which I mean, they were meant to be a challenge for me, were or are the bingo boards my 24 priority reads and the rereads. Those two are the ones that are like, hmm, that's going to be, can I complete them? Is it possible to complete them? As I said, I have three books. So that's a total 40, 24, that's 48 books total for the year. We're on those two boards. So, I mean, 50% of my reads should have been from those boards. They obviously have not been. As I said, I have 18 books, so 10 on one, eight on the other. So I have 18 books. Three of those 18 are on my October TBR. So I mean, maybe. So three, so that's 15. November, yeah. So that's all I can read in November, December are books from my TBR boards, my bingo boards. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> But how close can I get? We'll find out. We'll find out. So yeah, so this was fun. I love looking back and thing, seeing kind of how realistic were my goals? Is it possible? Can I do this? And what goals do I want to set for next year? Have you started thinking about the next year? Do you set reading goals? I'd love to chat in the comments below. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you have a good day. Bye.